seen a part of the world like this and I would have always longed to do it so I'm really really happy I got to come here and, and kind of see it. Real chilled out, relaxed, nice you know, definitely feels like another part of the world you know like it definitely feels like the other side of the world but I like it sometimes you need to kind of get away from the whole hustle and bustle of things and just you know chill out because holy shit it is going off at RMV tonight, the 30th. We've got Chase and Sayers playing behind us, Tony Temper just absolutely blew up and we still got high contrast and justice to come. Like, well, I mean, what, what more could you expect and what more could you want? It's amazing to be here, very happy behind the vines. We've had some great chats, met some awesome people today. You can hear all the artists are absolutely pumped to be here as are all, most importantly, the people. It is just epic and I can't say more like, all I gotta do is show you this. Behind the vines, catching up with Araka just for a set on the cellar stage. How's it feel to be in New Zealand? Yeah, really good. I, I haven't really, uh, I kind of flew all the way here, like pretty much non stop, so I've been awake since Tuesday morning UK time. Like, beautiful, it's uh, just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And obviously, I've got some friends here as well, so it's, it's kind of it's great. Obviously, been to a few festivals around the world, and 
and like we're here at Rhythm and Vines, but what, what what's the essence of a festival to you? Like what, what really makes it like you know, there's obviously the, the the people and the lineup but like you know what is it that really makes sets things apart like when you come to something like this? I think a very, very important thing is good sound. Because in the UK we don't really have that. Jerry told me that there was this amazing festival in Gizzy and I needed to see myself. And the last time he told me that was Splore. And he was right. He said, it's, it's crazy, it's far, but it is incredible and you need to see it. You need to be a part of it and they really want you. So I said, I'm down. Rock and roll. Yeah, Jerry has good taste. <laughs> kids expect too much from you? Um, all over the board, music from all over the place, all over the time, timeline, and um, a lot of fun and excitement. And, and the sound that, you know, where, where is the drone bass sound at the moment? Where have we got to? What do you sort of see happening for next year? Uh, people always ask me, like, you know, what's going to happen? Not musically, where's the future of the sounds going? But no one knows, man. It just happens organically, it just evolves, and uh, you can never predict it, which is, you know, one of the great things about it. But drone and bass is just really diverse, it's just wide open, there's so many different styles going on right now. So, um, yeah, I think it's in a strong position. Day tonight, what's, what can we sort of expect? Uh, yeah, it's going to be fun kind of playing to that kind of open air thing. You know, we're not used to that back home. 